On Monday, the floodgates at Glen Canyon Dam were opened to mimic the flooding the Colorado River would have experienced before the dam was built. Wow, that is really cool. To see that amount of water just charge out there, you know, made me want to be out there in a kayak. Releasing water from behind the dam moves built-up sediment from Lake Powell downstream, improving and protecting the resources of the Colorado River by building new beaches and creating natural habitats for fish and waterfowl. The team of uh, Glen Canyon will have the sedimentation that they need to be able to thrive. And uh, so people will come here, your children and ch your children's children will be able to see part of uh, the great creation right here in the Colorado River. The total duration of the high flow project will be nearly five days. The volume of water being released was at its highest on Monday and is continually being cut back until the flow rates are back to normal. Glen Canyon Dam will release water on an as-needed basis to continue the work started by this historic event. Without this kind of sediment, all the beaches erode and it exposes archaeological sites, it, it, it um, eliminates habitat for birds and wildlife and it eliminates beaches for our river rafters. So when you pour all of this water down, at the same time it piles the sand back up on the beaches again. And so you basically restore the Grand Canyon through this effort. By creating deep bodies of water, dams have caused extinction of warm water fish and in turn produced massive amounts of electrical power. For NAZ Today, with James Maxey, I'm Brooke.